and Dr. Frankenstein. All right, so we brought life back to this thing. What we did, it turns out two of the tubes were bad in here. So I had four, actually two groove tubes and two JJs, six L6s that go in here. All right, I had two of each. Two were in my other harp amp. Two I had as backups. So I tossed them in here and everything is kicking. All right, so we have this guy back online. And in the process, these two were bad. These are two very rare, semi-vintage, they come from like 84, 86, whatever. Phillips, USA made. There's no, I mean, there's, there's no tubes made in the USA anymore. They come from China, Russia, wherever. Okay, Eastern Bloc, old Eastern Bloc Europe, okay. So these are kind of rare, and actually, they used to be valuable. What I found out was these little pieces that cover this little glass, come on, focus, nipple there, um, they were broke off on the inside. So I don't know what this thing was mishandled, I don't know, could be anything. Just age, but one of these was running really hot, and one wasn't running at all. And out of the four that were in there, two were bad. Well, one was bad, but two two of these had these broken things on there. And I'm very gentle about taking them out and all of that. So anyway, two of these, and these are very, these are like some of the best 6L6 tubes you can like get anywhere. And anyway, so it turns out two of the ones were good. And so what I did was I took the four that I had, the two backups, and the two that were in my harp amp, okay? And so what I took, I took the two out of there and I took the two backups and I used them to get that guy going and I got a really nice, sweet upgrade. Okay, like I say, these are like some of the best 6L6s you can get. And so now I have, I mean, those are GTs in there, whatever it is. But this amp does not have to be biased. It's cathode biased. I know I'm talking a lot of gibberish to some of you. Okay? So anyway, I'm kind of excited because I got a really nice upgrade. Okay? Those are some really, really, really good tubes in that amp now. So anyway, we got that dude going. All right? That's an old Kitty Hawk. That's the one I told you went south a while back. But now it's kicking. We'll see how long the tubes hold up because I believe a bigger, you know, the... Anything over like 40 watts, 45 watts, this is, I don't know, this is either a 60 watt amp or a 100 watt amp, I'm not sure. But anything over like 45 watts, 40 watts has to be rebiased. I don't know if this is cathode bias or not, I didn't look it up. So it, it may burn the tubes out quickly, we'll see. Now all we have to do, the power tubes and the base breaker are shot. So we gotta look into that, all right? <laughs> but if we can get this going, and that going, that means we can get the Trio Plus going. This little dude that we've been trying to get going, I mean, we had him going before that amp went down. So that means we'll have a band going and we can start doing some really serious work here. We can do the guitar bass, or the guitar, uh, you know, bass tracks and lay the harp over the top of it. Whoop, that's not good. Let's see. Did we lose one? No, we did not. But that was unusual. But yeah, the AC is running, so it might be that. Who the fuck knows? All right. Let's try a quick test. I know this cam work sucks. I know I'm jumping around. I'm excited a little bit. Say this amp, it's it's a little sketchy, so we'll see. But anyway, if we can get that dude going and that dude going, that means we can do guitar on that and harp on that, or harp on that, guitar on that, and we could do the uh, the trio plus on that, which is basically a, a looper, drum machine, bass machine. But yeah, so we got the harp amp, guitar harp amp and the uh, looper amp so if we can get all three of those cooking 
then we can get to work. All right. Anyway, yeah, that's what we're doing today. I am Frankenstein. <laughs>